ways to make your life a little bit simpler. So I wanted to show you how you can take leftover cake and make them into cake pops. And the ones that I'm gonna show you today, you can definitely have for the holidays. Now I recently made a red velvet cake and I had some scraps left over. So I put them in the refrigerator just waiting for this day where I could make these cake pops and show you how. All right, what you need for our red velvet cake balls is you need some red velvet cake that's been cooled and then crumbled. Some frosting, you can use either store-bought frosting, the vanilla or cream cheese. Uh, just buy it in the store, the tub, and you're gonna mix this in, or you can make your own buttercream. I'll link that down below. You need some white candy melts, some sticks, and some sprinkles, these are optional. And then you need some mini cupcake liners. I have a little holiday theme that I'm gonna be doing. And that's all you need, and then let's get started. All right, I have crumbled up all of my red velvet into small crumbles, and then I'm going to add some of my buttercream. Now, I'm gonna just see the consistency I want. I want it to be doughy, but I don't want it to be too soft, because then it makes it harder to roll into balls. A little goes a long way, a long way. Just gonna incorporate that really good. Now have your sticks ready on the side because you're gonna stick those in with the balls when you go to freeze them so that they don't fall out when you, and that's perfect. That's the kind of dough I want, just like that. I don't know if you can see that just like that. All right, now we're gonna roll these into balls. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, roll. You don't need a huge ball because um, the chocolate actually makes it really a thicker ball when you dip them into the chocolate. Just stick those in there. And then I'm gonna stick the stick in there like this and we're gonna freeze them for about an hour. There you go. All right, as you can see, I already made up some and I already melted some of my candy melt. So I'm gonna put it back in the uh, microwave. I wanna get this completely melted. Now, when I melted these, it was a little thick for me, so I added a little bit of shortening to it to just um, smooth it out and just get it a little bit more silkier to work with. I'm gonna go put this in the microwave. All right, just took the cake balls out of the freezer. I'm gonna stir up my melted chocolate. Now you could use some white chocolate chips if you want, or some almond bark, but I'm using just the traditional uh, white candy melts. All right, so I'm gonna take my stick and I'm basically gonna put it in here and I keep a hold of that stick. Okay, and then I lift up, and then I just kind of turn it and get all that excess off. Because you really want to get to the cake ball. And then I'm going to, oh, I need to get my sprinkles. I'm gonna put my little sprinkles on here. I'm using some white iridescent sprinkles. They're really pretty. Oh, see how that ball stuck out? I'm gonna stick that back in there. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, this is what happens when you make these cake balls. Do another one. Maybe I twisted it too much. I didn't like that. It's funny. All right, I'm gonna do that a little gentler this time. All right, I'm gonna finish these up for you and show you how they all turned out at the end, just in time to go to a holiday party. All right, so as you can see, I'm finishing up my last one. I wanna show you what happens if you forget to put the stick in before you freeze it. Don't fret, just go ahead and stick a stick in there. Just make sure that you kinda of push it in. And then when you dip it in, kinda of do the sides because you don't wanna lift up too much so that stick doesn't fall out, which it did before. <laughs> All right, and then just twist it gently. These turned out really, really pretty. What a beautiful, actually this could be a nice winter treat even past Christmas holidays, like into January or February. And also for a wedding, this would be a beautiful for a dessert table. Red velvet leftover cake. You can make these cake balls in no time. Have fun. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 
We are uploading videos for you all the time. See you next time.